Hi, it's Todd from Todd's Workshop and Todd Cutler here, and today we are going to talk about bollock daggers. There's no polite way of putting this really, but it is a medieval and a Renaissance style dagger that had a handle shaped like a cock and balls. Yeah, subtle, isn't it? Or not. But the thing is, this film is about a few different things, but mostly it is about me being impetuous, some bad research, and creating a really really horrible object and there it is but now i have decided to rectify this horrible mistake and combined with some history and some fashion advice we're going to move the world forward so if you regularly watch my channel you will have come across something about bollock daggers students of medieval history medieval weaponry you'll know about bollock daggers too but they really were a thing and they were common so from about 1300 going at this end to about 1550 at this end, they were all over Europe. I'll get rid of this horrible thing. So presumably, the first person who ever made one of these thought it was a great idea and was also presumably a man. But really, what is it all about? Of course, we will never know. But since the dawn of time, people have loved a crude joke. They really have. And this is probably just part of that. But maybe there are spiritual or fertility reasons behind this in the first place. So the Romans, they were really into their penises as well. But that was a spiritual thing, a fertility based thing. Maybe it was the same medieval period. But like I said, we won't really know. But what we do know is that they were obsessed with rude jokes. It's everywhere in the literature and the artwork. Penises, everywhere in the literature and the artwork and genitalia in general. So in the medieval period, you will see them on stone carvings on cathedrals. You will see them in the little writings, the drawings on the side of uh, religious manuscripts. You'll see them on pewter pilgrim badges like these. And there's even 93 penises on the Bayou Tapestry. I've made a couple of films about bollock daggers before and the origins of them. But the thing is, it's a poor man's knife. It's a working man's knife. The handle's very simple, it's turned on a lathe. So if you can imagine the bollocks here, just being round. Well, at some point somebody thought, well, if I just cut that off a little bit, it'll sit closer to my body, be more comfortable to wear, kind of makes sense. You need it thick to be strong if another blade comes down here, kind of makes sense. And at some point, and I think this is probably what happened, somebody just went, oh, look, I could just like carve that there. Maybe it's a split in the wood, who knows? But anyway, the bollock dagger was born. And by 1350, bollock daggers were all over Europe, all over Europe, and not just the backward parts like England, but you know, through the, the lowlands and uh, Flemish, down to Spain, Italy, they were everywhere. And then over time, these stopped being the working man's tools with the single edge and the flat back on here and the crude handle, the crudely formed handle. And they started to get fancier, double-edged blades that you can't use for working, you can only really use for fighting and for dress, guards on them, bit fancy of workmanship and you end up with really some quite strikingly elaborate daggers. So most of these bollock daggers were really quite stylized. They weren't rude. You could see what they were but they weren't basic. But of course there are always people out there who want to push the boundaries like this guy. But we'll stop the history lesson now and have a look at my stupidity. 30 years ago a friend of mine was told by a friend of his that there was this thing called a bollock dagger. My friend hadn't seen it. I hadn't seen it. I didn't bother looking in a book, going to a museum, asking anybody who might know. I just rushed home and I made one. And this is the horrible result. This original rude bollock dagger came back into my possession last year. So I made a film about it and sort of explain the story behind it. But the thing is, the response from you guys was really strong. Clearly you got very bad taste, but it was strong. You wanted one. So Tol Cutler stepped into action and we released this. Available right now. How you choose to wear this dagger is entirely your business. But in medieval times, most people would probably just carry it on the belt like this. Some people, tuck it through the pouch, perfectly normal thing to do. But just like then, like now, there is always gonna be somebody who likes to carry the joke that much further than anybody else. And again, you see it in the manuscripts. 
but I made this thing because of your evident bad taste. You know, you seem to want it. So there's a small number be made, small batch. They're gonna be there. I can't think they're ever gonna get restocked again. So if you want one, toldcutler.com, get on down. So in these films, I like to make a series of conclusions when I can. So what can we conclude? People have always loved the rude joke. Medieval period, probably through to the dawn of time, I would imagine. Secondly, bollock daggers were a real thing and they were all over Europe for hundreds of years. Thirdly, do your research and if you make a mistake, own it. And the last point really to make is rude bollock daggers are here in the 21st century. If you want one for yourself, for a gift, weird Father's Day present, come on down, toggcutler.com. But in the meantime, I'll just give you some nice oh, fashion catalogue poses. Hmm. Goodbye, see you again.